Hello everyone. Welcome back to Spiritual Essence. In this video, I am going to be teaching you how to do a jack-o'-lantern protection spell. With Halloween coming up, uh, it is definitely a spell that you are going to need. This will, I think, be the first spell that we're trying out, so to get started, we only need a few ingredients. One of the first ingredients that we are going to require is um, fresh candles. I have these little mini ones. You can get the regular size ones if your uh, pumpkin can fit into it. Um, for this spell, I would require at least one or two pumpkins. I have three here. So um, we're going to carve those up. And then I'm going to teach you how to enchant the candles as well as the pumpkins so that they can help protect your home during Halloween. Another thing you're going to need, of course, is a sharp knife. And of course, because I'm teaching you this, uh, be very careful. Uh, as a teacher, it's always good to advise your students, you know, uh, about the hazards of the spells. Um, I would also uh, wear some rubber gloves. I have these latex gloves that have gotten me through through and through in case you don't want to really get your hands messy. And, um, of course, a towel for the pumpkin guts. And, uh, of course, a black uh, permanent marker. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this here. I'm going to lay out the towel like this, nice and flat. Set my rubber gloves aside. Okay, so we're going to take our pumpkin, one of our pumpkins, Start by cutting into it a little hole in the top, and we're going to basically cut the top off of these pumpkins. Nice and thoroughly. Okay. We got another one off. That one looks like a pyramid. That's pretty cool. Then we're going to do the last one. Uh, actually, these are pretty good sized pumpkins. They don't have to be a particular size, um, except for the fact that I wouldn't recommend that you use the really small ones. Get regular sized ones. You can have as many pumpkins as you wish for this spell, but I just chose three. Plus, they were like two for 16, so, you know, that wasn't bad. Uh, no, they were two for eight. <laughs> got that mixed up. All right, so we got all the pumpkin tops off. I'm going to take the seeds. See, I'm already getting my hands all messy. And I'm actually going to take my jacket off because this is a really nice jacket. If you guys can see... Uh, it's got like little symbols, little uh, spiritual symbols on it, and it's like a cloak, so I'm going to take that off. So if you're wearing something that uh, you don't want to get dirty or sticky or have to wash, then I would wear something, maybe like some work clothes or whatever. Put on your gloves if you have any. If you don't mind getting dirty, that's fine. Eat to each their own. Okay. Ooh, these are cold. Yeah, it's really cold out here. So, we're going to take as many of the guts off, and I'm going to put them on this beach towel. Alright, if you guys can vaguely see that I have already um, drawn all the faces that I'm going to put on my jack-o'-lanterns, uh, they don't have to be scary. I like them scary, but if you want to make them goofy with a little bit of scary or mix them all up, you know what? That's up to you. They don't have to be any sort of design, so uh, you do not have to do that. If you want to get super creative, you can even uh, trace some uh, witchy runes or symbols and carve them out instead of faces. You can do that. Uh, I am just going to be um, putting faces, so um, now that I have uh, taken out all the pumpkin guts and I have traced the face, of course I'm going to start carving, and um, 
If you guys want to use the pumpkin seeds uh, for spells, I am going to put in another video how to dry them out, how to powder them, and eventually how to um, utilize them in teas and potions and spells and all that. So uh, be prepared for that. One, two, three. All right, as you can see, I have carved all three of my pumpkins. They pretty much turned out how I wanted them. So as you can see there, you know, I've kind of got the monster kind of look. They kind of look evil, but their intent is going to be the complete opposite. Now, remember um, the three candles. These haven't been lit. Um, you can pretty much put any type of candle in them, uh, beeswax, regular candle, scented candle, um, a candle of your own making. The number one rule is that, uh, it can't, you have to know where it has been and who has had it. So you want, that's why you want to start with a fresh candle and, uh, a candle that you have not used before. So you want a, a clean slate. So that's why I have these. Now, uh, like I said, you can make your own candles. You can put herbs and oils. Uh, you can carve symbols into them. Um, I don't find that necessary. Um, these are just going to uh, be filled with our energy. So uh, here's what you're going to do. You're going to take them here in your hand, and you're going to imagine a flow of energy from your heart traveling down uh, to the arm that's holding the candles, and you are going to imagine it flowing into the candles themselves. Make sure you are feeling good. You're not sick while doing this. Uh, you want to feel relatively good uh, like I am. So um, close your eyes and envision what you want the candles to do. So I'm going to picture them creating a barrier around the home. And I am going to imagine them being like bodyguards and protecting the house while they are in the jack-o'-lanterns. I am going to imagine them protecting them from all forms of evil, both spiritual and physical. And I am going to imagine them also giving us a little bit of good luck and positive energy and repelling all negative energy. Now that we've filled it with our intent, if you want to do an additional spell, I'll tell you what to do. All right, so um, here is an additional spell that I use uh, when I'm making uh, or enchanting candles. So hold them in your hand firmly. These candles are blessed with heavenly light. May they bring peace, prosperity, and protection within my sight. So mote it be. Say it three times. So here's what we are going to do now. So we are going to each put the candle in the jack-o'-lantern. And uh, then we're going to light them. All right, now that you have completed your jack-o'-lanterns and blessed your candles, there's one final blessing that you can do for the jack-o'-lanterns themselves. So we are going to try that now. May the blessings of the gods and the spirits be with us tonight. Keep this house and all within it within your blessed sight. Protect thee and keep thy safe within the blessed night. Enchant these jack-o'-lanterns with the power of protection. Blessed be. All right, so I have focused my energy to the three jack-o'-lanterns that I make. Um, 
So that's how you perform a jack-o'-lantern spell. There's additional stuff that you can do that I just didn't do in this uh, video, like making your own candles with herbs and oils. You can even anoint the uh, jack-o'-lanterns themselves with uh, any kind of spell or potion that you wish. Um, but in any case, it's uh, still the same. Uh, extra protection during things like uh, Devil's Night and... Um, evil spirits so uh dangers both physical and spiritual um all right guys uh thank you very much and have a happy halloween